Today's adventure brings us to Red Wing Stadium. We're here to check out a baseball game. It's perfect weather. Uh, the nicest day we've probably had since winter had started. Nice 75 degrees. No better time to go check out some baseball. It's been a while since I've been here, so check out some things that are different. I mean, neither of us, you or me, haven't gone together at the same time, you the viewer. So let's uh, head on in, check it out. Oh, look at that, you can see the train going in the background. That's cool. I do not own a Red Wings jersey, but I did, I, Muck Dogs, I tried. They're a local smaller team, so there's probably no one here that is wearing it. <laughs> and I'm a little confused because I have the Marlins, Yankees, you know, whatever. <laughs> I've got nothing to say. Innovative field. Oh, we got a statue over here. Oh, huh, pretty cool. All right, we're in. Looks like we have a horse made out of gloves. It's pretty cool. Cool kind of statue on the wall for the team's logo. This giant bird here. We have uh, the store. You head in here and check it out. All right, it's a little busy in here. By a little, I mean a lot. I think everyone's in here. They have a bunch of hats in here. And they even have a hat for the food Rochester's famous for, their garbage plate. That's kind of their secondary jersey and name. The plates. Yes, we have some mugs. Pretty cool. Giant hot dog. Yeah, normal, normal stuff you'd see in a gift shop. Oh my god, this is a hat you wear. That is so cool. Retro shirt, that is awesome. There's some really cool stuff in here. A little dog with a bat. Man, I just, I can't get over the hot dog hat though. That is so cool. Let's have jerseys too. Baseballs. All right, I'm going with the plates hat. It just, you know, <laughs> I don't think you're gonna see something like this anywhere else. So I couldn't pass it up. All right, I got the hat. So now I'm just a giant mess of colors. Um, you know, it works. But I forgot to mention when I started the video, Today's a cool game because we're in Rochester, Rochester Red Wings, and they are playing the Buffalo Bison. So it's kind of a, a battle for Western New York. And unfortunately, the Red Wings, <laughs> record-wise, they're not doing too great. Um, but you know what? It's going to be a fun kind of cross-city rivalry here, in a way. But man, look at this little go-kart. The headlights are gloves. The top of it's a batting helmet. That is awesome. Oh, and it's like a, a ball in the back. It is so cool. Yeah, we're just gonna walk around, check the place out, eat some hot dogs and peanuts, I'm sure, <laughs> and then see what we find. All right, before we grab our snacks and stuff, let's take a quick look at the field. Let's see what we got out here. Things such as urinary tract infections. I love that jersey. <laughs> Thanks. I, I wanted to get one. I couldn't make it out. Yeah. Well, we were we had season tickets a couple years ago, and they were like a few just left on the rack. 
and it has the uh, old uh, yeah. Marlins. Yeah, they're gonna use it. Yeah, so they're they're never gonna be back. So I'm like, I bought a few, you know. It's great. I, I just gonna make it out when you're selling. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see. Look at that. The field out here. Oh. There's not there's not much better than just baseball in person. The sounds, the smells. And personally, I prefer the Red Wings field to Buffalo's. It's closer, and I like that you can kind of go out to the outfield, hang out on the grass, catch some home runs. Hopefully, we see some. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. It's a perfect day. Oh, that's awesome. You can see the Kodak building in the background. It's got a pretty cool backdrop. It looks like that they're redoing kind of the board out there. Yeah, look at that. All the buildings in the background. That is very cool. We're back by the concession stands getting some, uh, some shade. They have little banners up of past presidents, players, coaches, managers. And it goes all the way down the little concession area. That's pretty cool. The concession stand's called Batter Up. I like that. I'm a, a fan of puns, and that's a good one. It is a busy day. Perfect day for baseball, though. Let's see here, we have another stand, home plate. Oh, if I can get it in frame. Another pun, because they have the garbage plates here. Alright, it's a little less busy over here, but... But still, still a madhouse. It's cool, these signs over here. I like it. It's kind of a nice old school feel. I grab my drinks from our local brewery and then grabbing some dogs at home plate. All right, here we're at our seats. Pretty good view. We got our hot dogs. Just mustard. It's the way to do it. And there's Weigel, so it's local. So it's all good. Here we go. Here we go, taking the field. Here we go, start of the game. Oh! All right, we got the nut there. We're safe. <laughs> it's Conehead. Oh, there he goes. It's a, he's a legend around here. Good old Conehead, he's everywhere. God, he's back. It's Conehead. He's the best. He's at all the sporting events around here. He's been doing this forever. He's the best. No one better. There he goes. I'm here just for him. Nice. I'm gonna melt out here. It is like 80 degrees. First warm day of the year. Oh boy. Oh, there's a mascot spike. And they don't know the girl bird name. Look at that, just partying it up. He was number one. The SpongeBob joke. And nothing better than the sounds of baseball. Saw some vintage sign, Poppin' Hots. It was awesome. 
And it looks like they have a wall over here with past players, managers, everyone, you name it. Look at that. Love seeing things like this. History is cool, especially when it comes to sports. It's a little hot out there. So we are away from the seats, obviously, because this is not where we're sitting. We need water, and I've been sent to find Dippin' Dots in a helmet. Very specific. So let's go find that. All right, found the Dippin' Dots. So the line is long, so we're going to be here a while. Got the Dippin' Dots in a Red Wings helmet, which is awesome, and a mammoth of a water bottle. I've never had anyone ask if you want a large or small water bottle before. And this is what the large gets you. Almost as tall as the ketchup and mustard container. Okay, I'm going to have to figure out how to carry all this back with a camera. But let's just hope I, the next scene isn't just me covered in dipping dots. Two outs, runners on second and third. Let's see if we can make something of it. Oh, walks them. Now we got bases loaded. Two outs. Oh. Safe. We got to run in. Up. Oh. We got one up. Oh man. Going around. Buffalo's breaking the game open. So a couple base hits followed by a double, so that's two runs scored. We're probably gonna have four to one. Double followed by a double. It's not looking good. They're Relish. playing playing a game. Not a top four time. Uh, Relish is in a top he four. Says onion. The survey says that it is a top four. Sweet deal. Chili! She says chili, the survey says. How is chili above hey, relish? Really what? Ketchup! Oh god. My ears. Chili ketchup! Alright, it's good to see I'm Mustard's like number the one. Family all the way from South Philly. They're your winners in the air quick. Fan feud. This is the pitcher's first inning. His peacock. He immediately hit the batter. Oh, it was a close one right there. Uh, let's see if he does it again. Oh, nice base hit. Here we go going to third. Hey, safe, nice. All right, here we go. It's a loud peacock. He yells every time he pitches. I'm pretty sure this is the first guy doing it this game, too. He's an angry bird. Oh, fouled it off. Now we're staying alive. Alright, he's thinking. Oh, no yell that time, and it's a ball. I think we've got them figured out. Yeah. Well, we got two outs. Runner on first. Peacock screamed, was a ball. So this, this batter led off with a bunt with two outs and a runner on first. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Oh, just try to pick off play. Did they make it? Oh, let's uh, see what we do this time. Oh, foul. And we got just the, the advertising in the background. The one that sticks out the most is still baldness.com. Remember to check that out if you need it. Free advertisement. All the little kids running after the ball. Oh my goodness. Oh, and they lost it. They threw it over the railing. Oh my god. It's a frenzy. 
Here we go. Pitcher's about to deal. Two outs, two balls, two strikes. Oh, oh right to third. Darn. Man. Oh well, not bad aim, we got a run. Whether you're right, rounding guys, third base so or walking in the front door, there's no place like home. Droopy, it's melting. Visit nationwide.com uh, go to learn more about protecting your family, future, home, auto, and more. So this is the area I remember the most as a kid. The grass area. And this used to be a dip and dot stand over there. But this is where you go and you try to catch a foul ball. It's the spot if you're a kid. Oh, look what I found. This very happy dude selling you some nuts. Nuts. But actually, the reason why I came back here is I just missed it. But this ridge line is actually the train track. So there is a train that runs right behind the field. So it's really cool. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find another one. If not, hey, who knows? Maybe we'll come back and we'll find uh, an opportunity to cut the train as it's going by. A little tongue-tied. It's, it's so hot today, guys. I, as I cover the cameras, I'm an amateur. Um, it is hot. Very warm. For, what, mid-April? It is over 80 degrees. That doesn't happen. So, um, oh well. It's nice. So let's uh, head on over to the other side. We'll say goodbye to our, our nuts man and start walking. Concourse is a lot less busy in between innings. So if you happen to come, and I know a lot of people are local viewers, I would definitely recommend going in in between innings. Don't go to concessions to start the game, unless you're here very early. Otherwise, you're gonna miss a part of it. Luckily, we got lucky and we found a quick lane, but you know, if you want a hot dog, there's almost just one place to get a hot dog, which I kind of find a little weird since that's the baseball food. But, I don't know. I shouldn't complain too much. Just giving you uh, tips, I suppose. On this side, super cool. They have a bar called the 10th Inning. That is actually awesome. I, I can get behind that. And I can see in the distance. They have a bounce house. Let's go check it out. Oh, I was wrong. It's not a bounce house. It's one of those pitching challenges. That's awesome. Pretty sure we just missed a Bison's home run, which I wish I saw, even though we're pulling for the Red Wings. Oh well. Would have been cool to see. All right, this side, the grass area, you have a way better view. So I definitely recommend if you're here to just watch, head over here. I'm going to show it a million times. We have the Kodak building over here. I don't know, just something about, I mean, there's so much history about Kodak, it's insane, but the building really is just kind of. Kind of beautiful. Hopefully I didn't shake you guys up too much. <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm a little zoomed in. We have a statue over here, so let's go check out the statue. See what we have over here. Now, so the Joe L, I'm gonna butcher it. Joe Alto Belly. Only man to ever serve as a player, coach, manager, general manager, and broadcaster of the Red Wings. Wow, that is, that's actually really cool. That's quite the accomplishment. So big reason we came over here. Grass area, check. Wasn't a bounce house, it was a pitching game. Very cool. Saw the statue, but I also really wanted to check out the like board they're refurbishing. Like I said, I don't know if that was intentional or if that was Blizzard related. Let's see if we can get a little closer. This might be as close as we can get, but yeah, look at they're doing some welding over there. Work being done. All right, I lied. We can get a little closer. By a little, I mean a lot. I mean, this is where the stanchions are. Yeah. Are you doing the board? This looks like Buffalo's bullpen for visitor teams. Cool. Not well, something you probably get in the major leagues. Be able to just look on over. It's the nice thing about kind of smaller ballparks, though. Up nice and close to the action. All right, these guys right here. 
I don't blame them. It is, it is a warm one. If this was midsummer, you'd expect it. But man, this is April. Mid April, 80 degrees. No way. Oh my goodness, we're missing the hot dog eating competition. Well, they're, they're not even eating the hot dogs. There's people just chucking them into the crowd. All right, he's got that hot dog hat. Man, I need one of those. All right, we might just have to go get one. Man, looks like we got some action going on out here. Just as I was about to leave. Looks like they use like an iPad. Super cool. We have players warming up. We have the catchers out here. Just showed up. That's cool. Got Toronto Blue Jays, the affiliate team. This is awesome. It's not the super close spot that we were at earlier. We see the train in the background? That is awesome. This park really is kind of picturesque. You know, if you wanted to show up and have a good baseball time, this is not a bad place to do it, honestly. You kind of see it moving in the trees, the engine up there. Oh man. That is awesome. Yeah, some warming up going on. I could see something happening. Oh, ah, that's the end of an inning. Starting to look like Bisons are going to take this one. Seven to two. You get to see a pitcher warm up. Let's see what we got going on. We got the catcher getting ready. Pitcher getting ready to throw some warm up pitches. This is awesome. I feel like how his warm up pitch is really just something I could never throw even if I tried. My god. Look at this. You're just warming up. You can, I, it, you're not going to be able to hear it on the camera. You can hear the ball. Wow. Okay, can't hear him, I bet. But he's reading off pitches that it sounds like Rochester's struggling with. That is cool. Inside baseball, yo. Yo, God, that's not me. <laughs> Man. Just the noise coming off the catcher's glove. It's awesome. Hey dude, can I have that baseball you have under your arm? It's actually it's too stinky. <laughs> Kids heckling on. Alright, so we had a little bit of that warming up action. That was so cool. Get that close. I mean, we're literally like a railing away. So that was awesome. Let's go quickly see if the gift shop still open we might get a hot dog hat we'll see it look awesome on the shelf so let's go take a look how did i miss this pun earlier sup dog and it's a wiener dog hot dog oh that that's perfect right there nothing beats that let's go in and find that hot dog hat i didn't notice that this the first time we came in i saw some red wings kind of baseball tee the hood it's new era too it's really nice oh 45 that's not too bad i forgot to mention earlier the hat i got the plates was 35 dollars pretty standard for a new era hat i really like the hat here this logo with the the r for rochester and red wings obviously i was completed with a feather it was actually really nice might just have to pick one up like two hats for the day. Just wear them one on top of the other. There's no pricing on the hot dog hat. So, really not sure how much this thing is. But I mean, I should get it, right? Yeah, we're gonna get it. 
So we bought the hot dog hat. It's $16. Uh, I don't know if that's good or I got ripped off, but I'm now the proud owner of the hot dog hat. And not many people can say that. So, we're gonna head back to the seats. We're getting murdered. I think it's nine to two. So, we are here for the baseball experience. Not a win today, but maybe a different day. But today, we are here for baseball. At least we got that. <laughs> Top of the eighth. We had two outs, but it's peanut time. Oh. That's a foul. Peanuts. All right, that was close. It's almost a dud right in front of the pitcher. Damn it! All right, a two-two count. Come on, Alou. Oh, right to the pitcher. Oh, in time. And one down. All right, come on. We can do it. Don't look behind inside. One, two count. Oh, call the ball. That was close. Oh, just tipped it. Oh, got him down swinging. Man. All right. DH. Two outs, though. It's not looking good. Counts 0 2. This could be it. Oh, bye bye. Oh, big pitch. Oh, fouled off. Not even sure where that one went. Ah, down swinging. Last the game. It was a fun one, even though we lost. Didn't get the W, but we we're here for baseball and experience some of Western New York. On the chance that, or opportunity, I should, should say, um, we got some nice weather. 80 degrees in mid-April. It doesn't happen. But thanks for joining me. I've been Oswald. You've been the viewer. Until our next adventure, safe travels.